carrier's aircraft provide long-range defense. If a threat gets past them, the escorting ships in the battle group fire anti-missile missiles. And if those fail, then up close there are flares, chaff and other decoy devices. One, five. But what if a missile still manages to get through all those defences? Well, for the last line of defence, it's all down to this gun. If this has to fire and it misses, then it could be goodbye to the carrier and all aboard her. Thankfully, though, this isn't any old gun. <laughs> It's a weapon system called Goalkeeper, designed to destroy anything that gets through all the other defences. It can track up to 30 incoming targets at a time, prioritising them and then destroying them with its 30mm Gatling gun. But the clever part is that it's completely automated. Having no operator makes Goalkeeper faster and more accurate. And Illustrious has three, providing full 360-degree cover. But this lethal machine has very humble beginnings. A 26-year-old storekeeper and an agricultural seed drill. Nikolai Thomasin Foster from the Royal Agricultural College has a replica of an 18th century seed drill. It was the first machine to plough, sow and harrow all at once. So it's a very clever machine. It's doing a lot of different things at once. The key bit is the seed hopper bit. Can we have a look at that? Yeah, it's a seed hopper, but just at the bottom of the seed hopper is a, a very simple metering unit. So if we just stop, whoa, we'll just have a look at a, a little cutaway we've got here that we've put together. So in this cutaway, we've just got a simple metering unit. So this is actually the axle for the wheels. And as that turns, it just actually drops out an individual metered bit of seed every sixth of a turn. Can I have a look at that? So that's actually happening... As you turn it, so the as gravity the is bringing around. the seeds down into these slots, and that's an individual metered unit. It's so very, very simple. Your horse is going to get bored standing there, Nicola. I'm sorry. By the mid 1800s, seed drills were revolutionising farming in America. The storekeeper improved the existing design by adding gears, and he made his fortune. But that's not what he became famous for. Years later, during the American Civil War, in an attempt to reduce the number of men needed in battle and so reduce fatalities, the storekeeper invented a gun that would change history. Inspired by the speed and ease that gravity fed seed through hoppers on drills, he swapped seeds for bullets. Easy and fast feeding of bullets was important because Mr. Gatling had invented the machine gun. Yeah, that's right, the 26 year old storekeeper was Richard Jordan Gatling, father of the machine gun and designer of his eponymous Gatling gun. Over 130 years later, Goalkeeper's gun is the most modern version of the Gatling gun. It may have improved specifications, but it still works on the same multi barrel principle as Gatling's original. And on Illustrious, it's weapons engineer Harry Fenton's job to maintain and load it. That's obviously a drill round, a simulated bullet, because obviously I can't hand you a real one. I don't want a real one. It's <laughs> massive. Look at it. These are loaded in here and rattle up there to the gun. Yeah. And the idea is it can fire a lot yeah. of rounds. How yeah. many of these? So you can fire uh, 4,200 uh, a minute, which equates to 70 a second. So. 4,200 of these? Of these, yes. A minute. So. 70 of those a second. That's right, yes. In the air. So, so that can make quite a mess of whatever's coming in, missile, aircraft. So this is a combination, then, of just putting up like, thousands of rounds, an unimaginable number of rounds in the air at any time, and accuracy. So the computers yeah. and the guidance systems give it the ability to prioritise, to pick a target yeah. and to hone in on it. But then it's just Basically. putting up this wall of rounds. What a terrifying thing. Sadly, though probably quite understandably, the Navy wouldn't let me actually fire goalkeeper. So instead, I've come here to this big, deep, safe quarry. Because down there, I want to see if I can understand a bit more about this combination, these two qualities, firepower and accuracy. Dave Walls designs and makes powerful sniper rifles. And he's brought some along so I can try to replicate what Goalkeeper does. 
Well, this is our AS50, 50, 50 caliber semi-automatic sniper rifle. Basically, it's an anti-material rifle built for taking out uh, helicopters, light armor vehicles and such like. Over what kind of distances can this thing be accurate? Oh, 2,000 meters easily. Right. So, accuracy, that's accuracy, what it's about. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see some accuracy then. That's an immensely powerful weapon and very, very accurate. Can't deny that. But what we need is some way of combining them, that accuracy and power, but with the shotgun thing of having a lot of rounds in the air at the same time. That's right. How many guns have you got here? We've got five rifles here all together. And... I think there's a further development of this experiment to do. I think it's important. Right, we've got some more blokes to fire. agree then that combination of accuracy, power and just number of rounds in the air was devastating. Yes, I think it would have definitely spoiled somebody's day. Yeah, yeah, it would have done that. And that kind of, well, it's a good approximation of the whole goalkeeper process. A lot of aimed rounds. So it's all about accuracy, power and number of rounds in the air at the same time. Nothing would have gone through that. Goalkeeper fires rounds at over three times the speed of sound, destroying targets at a distance of up to two kilometers, only a second or two from impact. So thanks to a young storekeeper and a seed drill, Illustrious has an awesome final line of defense against incoming threats. Down here in the operations room of the carrier, these guys are on the lookout constantly for potential threats, searching for that little blip on a screen that tells them someone or something 